welcome back to my channel, Elizabeth here. So today is another Halloween decor hunting haul. And today's is, you guys are probably cheating, looking at the box right here. Today's Halloween decor haul is Bath and Body Works. I finally received my package in the mail of the stuff I ordered because you both know that I went to the stores like five times and I found nothing. It looked like everyone just either everything sold out all the time I went or they didn't receive stuff, but who knows. So I just ended up giving up going to the store and buying everything online and my package finally got here. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, so let me come down Googles and let me show you Googles what I got from Bath and Body Works. Unfortunately, I was not able to get that vampire candle holder or the one with the ruffles or any of the busts I didn't get because I don't know when they sold them online, but I didn't get a chance to not even see them or anything. I just saw them like whatever people posted on social media. so. I left out of those, but I'm happy with what I got because the majority of these things I wanted really bad. I got two of the hand sanitizers. So one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite scents, Vampire's Blood. And I absolutely love the little bat. You ghouls know I love bats. So here's a little bat with a little bow tie. And let's see how this one smells. This one has more of a floral, perfumey smell to it, but I do like this one. And I got the Wicked Apple, which has a little ghost on it. That one's cute. And this one smells, it does kind of have that apple smell to it. It's not that strong. No, I take that back. I think it smells more like those green apples. That's what this scent more reminds me of. And then this one, it doesn't say what the vampire's blood is supposed to smell like, but this one has like a more florally, um, perfumey smell to it. And then this one does, but this one smells more like apple. Like I would say the green apple. But one of my favorite scents for the plug-in and the hand sanitizers, because I really can't buy the soaps or the lotions or any of the other stuff from Bath & Body Works, because I, I guess I'm allergic to it because I start developing eczema on my hands anytime I use their soaps or their lotions or any of that. So the only things that I usually buy are candles and, um, the air fresheners to put in the wall plugins and the hand sanitizers. And for the past few years, I always got Perfect Pumpkin. I loved the smell of Perfect Pumpkin. I had it for the wall plugins, I had the hand sanitizer, I had the candles. It was just like what I imagine Halloween smelling all in one in a candle but unfortunately this year they didn't bring back perfect pumpkin Ugh, this sucks and it was one of my favorite scents and luckily like this one this is the one that they sold last year and i still have a little bit of it i'm treasuring the last bit of it but this one smells so good this one was my favorite the perfect pumpkin scent but uh, oh well we are just gonna have to do with our second best. That is Vampire's Blood. Then the other hand sanitizers they were selling is the, the spray one. So I got the Vampire's Blood spray. I like the way, this one smells, for some reason, it smells different in the spray than it does in the little hand gels. The Vampire's Blood smells totally different. Yeah, because I feel like because this one has more of a floral smell to it and this one kind of reminds me this one kind of reminds me of the smell of strawberry or cherry cooling I don't know if you will smell it too but this one reminded me of 
the Kool-Aid. And sanitizer holders, I got this one, and then these, this one and the other one that I got lights up in the dark. So I'll show you ghouls at the end of this video, what they look like in the dark. But this one is the bat. I got the bat. I know, I lucked out of the bat they were selling last year. Oh, I really wanted that one because I like the little like peekaboo with the wings it had. But oh well. I got the next best thing. I got the little bat this year that they were selling and then you press the forehead and the orange part of the wings light up. So that's cute. And then it has the little fluorescent strip lanyard on here for you could um, hang it around your neck. But I use them more as keychains. I just wish they made it possible for you to remove this one. Or you could just have it as a keychain instead if you didn't want to use it. This one, I got it for my son because he wanted this one. So this one has an orange reflective lanyard on it. And this one has the spider web detailing on there. Here, let me put one of the hand sanitizers in there. Fools could see it better. But this one's a spider web one and it comes with a little pumpkin that lights up. How cute is that? I wonder, since you girls can see the pumpkin there, I wonder if you girls can see the light on these. Oh no, you can barely see it, like if I put it more. So I got those two are the only um, hand sanitizer holders I got. And then I got this. I wanted to just try it out, see how it smells, because everyone was saying that it smelled pretty good. And I'm not big on like perfumes or anything that smells like too strong because of my allergies all the time. But let's try this one out. This one is um, a fine fragrance. This is a fragrance mist and it's called the Wicked Vanilla Wood. So this is the new scent they had this year. I love the detailing of the bat. It's all lacy. I love the, the like the artwork on here of the bat. So it says this fragrance mist has a scent of magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanted pink pepper. In an enchanted forest illuminated by the moonlight. Ooh. Let the season's magic unlock your ghostly glow. Let's see if we start glowing like this. I do smell that hint of vanilla. Like the vanilla's not that strong. I get more of the amber wood. I get, I feel like the amber wood is the strongest scent in this perfume. And then second is vanilla. I don't know what pepper smells like, but I, all I smell is like the woodsy, like vanilla smelling smell in this one. So it's it's okay. I always like to try new things. I got some fragrances to, to refill my wall plug. So I'll show you that right now. So the first one I got, unfortunately, again, they didn't have perfect pumpkin in the little um, fragrance refills for my wall plug, so I had to do with another scent. Okay, so I did my research before getting some more of the fragrances for my wall plug because I wanted something that was close to smelling to Perfect Pumpkin because it was the only scent that did not bother me with the smell. And I definitely wanted to get something that, that was more relaxing. So I did get this one that was Aromatherapy Eucalyptus and Spearmint, the Stress Relief. I got the two pack because I love the smell of eucalyptus. And I love to put this one. This one is called Perfect Autumn. This one does have more of a fruity smell to it, but it does remind me of fall for some reason, like, I don't know, I can't pinpoint it, but this one does remind me of fall, so this one was not too strong, and it still had like that hint of a, like fall smell, so this one I grabbed, and then I got pumpkin apple. I was gonna get caramel apple, caramel pumpkin, like pumpkin caramel, something like that, but that one smelled too sweet. I didn't like the smell of that one. This one does have that hint of pumpkin in it, it's not too strong, but you also get that smell of like an apple pie. It kind of reminds me like of a pumpkin apple pie. And then here's Vampire's Blood. I also got it in this fragrance refill. And again, for some reason, every product that has Vampire's Blood on it, like it's different. The scent, the Vampire's Blood varies with everything, like with the candles, and then the fragrance refills from like the hand sanitizers, they all have, I don't know, 
what is it that they all smell a little bit different because this one the, the smell is not so strong as floral is like more delicate compared to the hand sanitizers those flowery smell is very strong in those and then I got autumn wood I don't know it's it kind of smells like reminds me of a, a cabin in the woods that's what this one reminds me and it kind of smells like but I got this refill so those are the refills I got for my wall plugs and then are you fools ready so I was look I usually don't get stuff to decorate my bathroom but I said you know what I think it's time to start incorporating more um, Halloween stuff everywhere in my house so I got I got this cute little haunted house soap holder you put the soap in the middle and it has all these cool detailing all around it it has plants vines plants with the eyes on it and in the front it has two little pumpkins and i love how they made it look like lacy the the doors with the bat and then it has it has a skull moth in the front and it has glitter all right there i personally would have done without the glitter but i guess it is what it is oh and then i didn't notice that you fools could see it has spiderweb right there and then another gall with wings on there but how cute is this one this one's so spoopy i love it and so this is gonna hold my soap how cool is this gonna look one Look at it. You put the soaps in there and look, it transforms it completely. It does, that is so cool. I love how that's gonna look. Okay, and for the wall plugs, I got two wall plugs. I got, I decided to get one for my kids' room because they keep saying that I need to make their room more spooky too. I got them the little ghost wall plug. And I love how this one kind of looks iridescent, but it does not show like that. At night it's the whole ghost glows so he kind of looks like a little floating ghost I love that and this one says yeah look it says I glow so I love how cute this one is and this one's good the, the kids are gonna love this one so this one was cheaper than the reg than the other wall plugs I usually get this one was 22 last year the haunted house wall plug that projected the little witch flying in the sky I absolutely love that one my go-to wall plug I use all the time so this year I said you know what let me look for if they have another haunted house this year so I could get it. The one this year, let me tell you rules. It kind of reminds me of my dream witchy room where I'm going to have all my plants and everything. I don't know what you call that room. And like that room is all made of glass and you have your plants and your herbs all in there. That's what that one reminds me of. Didn't really remind me of a haunted house. But anyway, let, let me show it to you. Look at this. How cute is that? And I love the jack-o-lanterns how they both have two different faces they have the flowers with the eyes on there but see what I'm telling you fools doesn't that I don't know what that room is called leave, leave me a comment down below if you fools know what I'm talking about this is my witchy goal to have a room like this where I can have all my plants in this is so cute I love the detailing and it all lights up and then there's a kitty right there oh and then I didn't realize there's a little bat kind of the wings look like spider webs and then it has a jewel right there i know the it lights up all completely the flowers do not but there's like i think there the light shines out from the back and then the jack-o-lanterns light up and this one also projects something onto the wall and it's a bat what you girls knew i was gonna grab this especially since it shines bats on the wall i love that it would have been a little better i personally think it would have been cool if since they were since they're project since this one is projecting bad I thought this one was gonna be more of a, like a castle or more of a vampire castle because how the bats are I think that would correlate more with this but either way I love it I can't wait to try it out but I'll show you goals at the end of this video what it looks like in the dark it is awesome I love it and especially the bats, the cherry on top, I absolutely loved it. And then my last piece that I was able to get is 
this candle holder, the water globe one with the cemetery, and then it has crows, tombstones, and the whole magical part of it is that when you turn it on, it's supposed to look like little goats are hunting the graveyard. Look at how cute that is, that is so cool. I absolutely love these water globe ones because it just adds more spookiness to your home without overdoing it, but I absolutely love this candle holder. And then it has lace detailing on top of the rim. It has glitter all over, but I guess I'll deal with that. Quite heavy, I would say. It's quite heavy, but still it's the I, I love the concept of it and the detailing inside with the little graveyard. I love it. Everything, everything about it is so cool. And I just love the little ghosts floating around. But yes, schools, that was my haul this year. So yes, schools, that was my haul for Bath & Body Works this year. That's everything I got from their Halloween collection this year. Well, that I was able to grab because the majority of the things were sold out and I'm lucky and happy that I got what I got. And hopefully if by the time this video goes up, you girls will still find good stuff on their website. I would say Go check out stores, probably they're still gonna be putting out more stuff. But I usually check online every day to see if they have anything new. Because the majority of the time, like this, the water globe one, I know I checked it yesterday and it was still online. It wasn't sold out. But thank you ghouls for joining me today. And if you ghouls have any other suggestions where else I could check out to see Halloween stuff, uh, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button to see more spookly videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you next time ghouls. Bye!